Hey guys, welcome to your 12th beginner's Java tutorial, and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you about something called um, object-oriented programming. Now what this is, it's basically, it's kind of a step up from what we've been doing so far uh, inside this one tutorial class. Object-oriented programming is where you have a huge program, um, or rather when you have a huge program with multiple files, you need to reference the other files in different files at some point. Um, for example, say you had, say you were making a large game, um, you would have a class for uh, your players, you would have a class for your enemies, you'd have a class for your weapons, and now at some point the player class is going to need to reference the weapon class, and the player might need to reference the enemy class also to tell it what to do if something happened between them. Um, but in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you about something called a constructor and also how to include an object of another class in your program so to start out we have our basic class here with our main method and um, I'm simply going to let's move this across a bit I'm going to create a new file up here or an even easier way is right click on the package and do new Java class, and I'm going to name this um, second class because it's the second class we're creating, and then you can just hit finish. And now, if I move this back, um, it's generated a template for us, but we can delete those comments. So now, if you remember the first thing I told you about, pa the first tutorial I told you about packages but the, we haven't really been using them much but now that we have another class this package is useful because it includes uh, the other class such as this tutorial here um, sorry about that and where was I so in our second class we're going to program something and then to call upon it we can simply uh, write some we can write one line of code in our tutorial class here in our main method. So to start off with I'm going to be creating a constructor. Now how you write a constructor is that it takes the same name as the class and usually you make your uh, constructor public. So we're going to write public and it doesn't have a return type at all, not even void. It just you write public second class and at the moment we'll leave the parameters empty. But now what the constructor does is every time a new instance of this class is created in an object, which um, I'll explain in a second, this code is going to be run here, uh, hence why it's called a constructor. Um, the code in here is required to construct this class. So now I'm going to create a new object of this class, or rather, let's um, in our constructor we're going to write some code, some basic code, um, system out print line second class has been created exclamation mark now we're going to create a new instance of our second class in our tutorial class and that message is going to display out on the screen so to create a new instance of our class um, in our main method here we're going to write new or rather we're going to write it's similar to when you declare a variable um, except this time our variable is the class which we want to create which is second class so we're creating a new second class and then we give it a name like you would with a variable we're going to call it sc and then this is equal to new second class with empty parameters and then finish with a semicolon now this has created a new object of our second class up here now let's run this and we will see if we click run we will see second class has been created because we've created a new instance of our second class now you may be asking why is creating an object useful in Java well I'm going to show you so in our second class we're going to create a method um, outside of our constructor we're going to create a method called add like we did or like we have done in the past so public void add and then it's going to take int a and int b 
and we're just going to say int answer equals a plus b um, and then print out the answer system out print line and then answer so now we have uh, add in our second class if we came into our tutorial class now and wrote add as a method um, that's not gonna work because it's not part of this class so what we do is we use a we use a full stop to basically say look look in the place I'm telling you for this method so we've created our new second class object which is called SC so we're gonna write SC and then we're gonna put a dot and as you can see um, different methods appear down here but the first one we see is our add method we can just hit enter and it's automatically told us to enter number A and number B I'm just gonna say 10 and 30 so now that we've um, got this here we can run this program and we can see second class has been created and then 40 which is the answer of 10 plus 30 now let me just explain again what's happened so we've created a new instance of our second class and we've named it SC and that is equal to new second class and this is called an object this is an object of our second class and now in our second class we have a method called add which adds number A and number B together so to grab that method from the second class we write the name of our object then we use a full stop to reference the methods inside that object and then we've written add and we've used um, 10 and 30 as our number A and number B so hopefully that will make sense uh, when we get onto more complicated things you will see why objects are incredibly useful and basically essential when you're programming Java so that is it for this tutorial at the moment um, please subscribe and stick around for the next tutorial because it's not getting it's not boring anymore it's getting interesting more interesting by the tutorial and we're really beginning to see how all of these things can fit together to create useful and functioning applications so uh, again thanks for watching